Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. This is Epson Expression Home XP3200. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multi-tax, three in one. In the sense you can copy, scan, print with this printer. This printer, to switch this printer on, this is the on and off button for this printer. Now, this printer is using ink cartridges 604 or 604 extra large. In terms of the printing speed, you print 10.0 print for black and 5.0 for colored. Okay, to set this printer up, first of all, you need to select your language. Okay, so use the up and down arrow to select your language. English language is already picked up. Click OK. Once you select the language and select OK, finish setup using Epson Smart Panel. Okay, so now finish setup using Epson Smart Panel. So you can select OK or you go back. Okay, so basically, if you scan, use the your QR code and scan this QR code, then it will take you where for you to connect the setup or if you want to go back you select go back okay so to switch the printer on okay now select your language english okay would you like to set up using Epson Smart Panel? I don't want to do that now, okay? Because we want to load the ink, okay? Select no, okay? So now it's getting ready. So, so for us to load the, once it's ready, if you for us to load the paper, load the ink. So it, what it's doing now is preparing. So what it's doing now is preparing the printer. Now install ink cartridge that came with the printer. Okay, so so open up the ink. Now to install the ink, what you need to do is uh, press okay. Okay, you can see the ink cartridge soda is just okay center here for us to install the ink. Okay, so what we need to do is there are sticker here, BK is for black, so start from we start with the black color. Okay, so this is ink, black, scissor four. What you need to do, you need to pull up off the air vent. Okay, then you go in to the black. So black is the first and it's in. Okay, now the second one followed by yellow. This is yellow. Pull off air vent, go in. Okay, the next on the list is magenta. Pull off the air vent, go in. Okay, the last but not the least, cyan. Pull off the air vent. If you don't pull off the air vent, this printer will not work. Okay, the ink will not flow. So now the last button list, go in and push it down. Okay. Once it's done, the next you need to do is just close the printer down. Okay. And press OK so that it will recognize. Okay. 
it will recognize the ink installed okay okay so what is doing now is checking the ink now initialization is taking place it will take about six minutes for this to complete there are line okay on the screen say initialization do not turn the power off until initialization is complete this take about six minutes so this is what is doing right now is okay we just need to wait for the initialization to complete Yeah, it's progressing slow and steady. Okay, just progressing slowly. Okay, it's progressing. Here we go. Initialization complete. Okay. Okay, now, so guys, this is um, how to install the ink, okay, and allow the initialization to complete, okay. Thank you very much indeed. Check out my next video, how to adjust the print head and also load the paper tray. Thank you.